Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how to enable autosave in VS Code. Let's create a file here, script.js and let's create a variable here, let's say count. You can see it is unsaved but if I want to save it, I can simply press Ctrl S and it will be saved. But this is not what I want, I want to autosave it. For that, I need to check this option, autosave. Now, if I'll change the value, let's say 2, you can see it is auto saved. Now, I'm not getting that unsaved thing here. If I'll uncheck it and let's make it 3, you can see I'm getting unsaved. Now, if you want to customize the behavior of auto save, you can go to preferences and simply go to settings, search here auto save. You can see it is off because we have unchecked it. In the auto save, you will get three options. The first is after delay, the second is on focus change, and the third is on window change. So when you will check this option, auto save, it will pick this option after delay. After delay simply means the moment when you will make changes to your code, there will be a delay of one second and your code will be saved automatically. You can see it is written thousand. It refers to thousand milliseconds. Thousand milliseconds is equivalent to one second. If I'll make it 5000, then it will refer to 5 seconds. The next option is on focus change. Let's select this option. So when your code editor will lose the focus, the file will be saved. Let's go to script file and make it 4. You can see it is unsaved currently. But when I will go to the settings tab, it will be saved automatically. The next option is on windows change. And it is written here, you can see when your window will lose the focus, the file will be saved. So let's go to script file and type 5 here. And now go to settings page, you can see it is still unsaved. But the moment when I will go to Google Chrome like this and go back to code editor, it will be saved. So these are the three options that you can pick after delay on focus change and on window change. In case you want to disable it completely you can simply select the off option i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day